Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. Hey guys, so I saw this lady on YouTube, I'll put her link below, make this adorable planter that looked like a teacup, but she made it out of like a soda bottle with, uh, she put all like uh, paper mache around it to make it, you know, thicker and way too much work for me. I happen to have one of these. It is cracked. So I'm kind of just going to cut this lip off and I'm going to use what I have to try to do a dupe of what she did. And let's see if we could do this. So with just my regular scissor, because it was already cracked, I just got in there, went around it and took it off. Just made sure it was as straight as it could be. And now we're going to start wrapping it with the twine. So I started off just putting a drop of glue in the notch to hold the string and then we're going to go around the bottom so that we don't have a space. Okay, you see, so we're just going to continue going around and around until we cover the whole thing with twine. Now that we got our whole top covered, let's do the bottom. And you guys know how to do this. I'm just going around in a circle to cover this whole bottom piece. Okay, so I did this. I left the bottom. I'm just left a tiny bit around the edge because I want to do a prettier ribbon around the edge there. And I am going to do just the bottom of the planter part. Um, and then we're going to put edging around it. So now that I did the bottom the best that I can, I got some pretty ones and we're going to do the edging. Now our edging's done on the cup. Let's do the edging on our bottom saucer. Alright guys, so now that we got our edging everywhere, I ended up going just down the side with it. You can't tell too much. I got glue, glue strings on there. But just so when it's sat, we wouldn't see anything. So anyway, now we're going to make a handle. So I'm going to show you how to make the handle. So first I made this circle and then we're going to leave some space and make another circle on the bottom. So once we have our handle made, we're going to glue it to our cup. So you glue the big one flat and then this one's going to go like this and then you're going to have your pretty handle. All right, so it looks like a handle to me, guys. And it looks like a teacup. So we actually did a pretty good job. Oh, no, my, I gotta make this smaller so it fits in my, in my thing. Okay, well, other than that, I had the right idea. I never made one of these before. And I always thought you needed to use the, the string ones, but it kind of stays good once you wrap this. So I just kind of ended up smushing that one too against it and then our handle fits. Oh, so cute. Let's put flowers in it. I'm going to show you a picture of her, hers and I'll leave a link down below so you can see what she did. Let's see if my dupe is close. It's way easier than hers. It's a lot less stuff because just wrapping the rope takes a long time guys like it's not easy especially this is not something that's flat we wanted to pick something that looked kind of like a teacup so um let's put our flowers in okay i stuck in the floral foam there you go guys there is with my flowers these guys came from the dollar tree i took them apart i didn't even put the whole thing so i have more to put in other ones and that's the purple and the yellow. And these guys were 98 cents a bunch at Michael's on sale for the summer. So that's it. And there is our planter. It came out so much cuter than I thought. I wasn't sure if 
I could get it to work, but it does look like a coffee or tea cup. So let me know how I did down in the comments below on this dupe, and we will see you on the next adventure.